Hey, welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Making music, making music great again, making drumming great again. You know, uh, Mike Burris here with 22 Minutes Playing with God, 22 PWG. Good morning. Um, I had this idea uh, quite a long time ago. It was a revelation. It was, it's been used in a lot of videos, this numbering system. And I did a video yesterday about the expanding universe of the simple stroke. And here's another way to go about creating stick control that is really quite unlimited. These books are great, like George Lawrence Stone's Stick Control, but they are limited. All the books are limited. You know, they're trying to save print space, I believe. That's the idea behind this. Or maybe they just didn't get this revelation. You know, uh, there's only so far you can go with your own uh, might and power. In the Greek, Zechariah 4.6, there's a prophecy about the new covenant that was going to come, the new everlasting covenant. It wasn't going to be anything like the old covenant. And uh, this is because might and power, that's the uh, Hebrew and Greek Septuagint for the external resources. These are external resources, things outside of me. Um, I have all this gear, and the power stands for the internal abilities of man. So, basically, God says, you know, uh, I tried to involve man in this process. It didn't work. <laughs> it was a failure uh, because of the weakness of man, because they broke my covenant. So, covenant means uh, an agreement. Well, it's kind of like a contract, but it's an agreement. I will, I will do this, and you will do this. So it's it's a relationship agreement. Anyway, I wanted to share with you uh, something that goes way beyond might and power. Uh, that's your own abilities and your own resources, and that is by my spirit says the Lord. And that's what this whole website is about, spiritmusicmeetups.org, a way for you to meet with one another and learn from one another. There's Every single page is a comment page. You blog on the bottom of the page so that you can share your ideas with each other, just like I'm doing on this video. Um, it would be really cool to have videos that could be shared with me um, you could share them to, to my, um, I guess, I don't know how you would do that, but you would share videos with me. If you get, get this video on a text, then certainly you can send me back a video, but you can send videos on email or the link to those email and you can hit the contact us on the website and do that. And then... I can share that with other people. I can even put them on my playlist if they're appropriate. So here is a really incredible download by my spirit revelation that I've had a long time ago, and it just keeps coming up, just keeps coming up, and, and, and it works just beautifully. You know, so many things are related to math. Math explains a lot of things in the world and you don't have to be complicated let's say we want to look at let's say you're right-handed and so you're going to lead with your right hand naturally but you would want to obviously work a lot more leading with your left hand your weak link so we're going to just start out very simple like a little child and we're going to look at the number of possible strokes Starting with the right hand, okay, so I'm going to have another stroke over here, and I'm saying, what are the positions, the possible positions of the right hand, since I'm leading with it? Well, I can say there's zero, there's one, that's in the first position, and there's two. That's in the second position, whatever's over here. 
and combinations, 1 and 2. 0, 1, 2, 1, 2. Notice that I'm moving this across progressively from the left to the right, forward. Pro meaning forward, grass meaning move. And that's a whole nother revelation. There's a whole video on doing things progressively. So, we got something in the right position. So I'm going to tell you what it is out here. Zero, that means there's, and we're going to do two strokes. We said there's two strokes, one and two. Two strokes. But there's no right hands. So that means that is equal to left, left. Right? No right hands. Zero right hands. The right hand in the first position would be this. Right, left which we call para, that, or they say para. I call this raw law. I put a little dot there so you can see that they're separate. I call this two law. So that's all you I, Law law is the same as two law. Does that make sense? So my naming system tells you exactly how to play it. Right hand in the second position would be la, ra. And the right hand in both the first and second position would be ra, ra, or to ra. So right away, by using this numbering system, it's a progressive numbering system, you just created all the possible combinations of two strokes. Two lefts, two rights. A ra-la and a la-ra. That's it. That's it. All the possible combinations. I have never seen this in any book. So the wisdom and understanding in Greek, that's Sophia, where we get philosophy, Sophia, that wisdom, right, of man can only go so far. And understanding is the word, Greek word, sunesis. And that means to connect the dots. Rationally, usually we say connect the dots from left to right. Rationally, left to right. And we connect those dots of information data points that's what we do in experiments we're collecting data and we put those all together into what we call inductive reasoning we connect them all up and we come up with a rule or a generalization or a reason or a rationalization that explains the data the, the data points so we connect the dots and into a line and we say, ah, oh, I reason this, or I rationally understand this. Well, God says the wisdom and understanding of the world is like foolishness to him. It is so limited. The perspective is so limited that what they come up with is very limited. This book has a lot of great ideas, and it's been used by a lot of people. But it's very limited. Divine revelation is unlimited. God connects the dots for you. And it's not always left to right. That's called non sequitur. And he will just connect dots that you would have never, ever seen connected. Right? So that's what revelation is by my spirit. And this whole website is about spontaneous, that's getting it from God, anointed, that's, that's the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, Prophetic means from the mind of God. So, here we go. This is definitely, you know, like string theory. This is like math that works to create every single possible combination of two strokes. So, let's have some fun. Let's do three strokes. Now, this is, this is not very cleaning very well. Oh, sorry about that. 
Let's do three strokes so you can see how this really expands, like the expanding universe. We're going to do three strokes, again, starting with the right hand. So this is really beautiful. And we talked about in the expanding universe that for every stroke pattern, there is a mirror image in the universe, like mirror, mirror, and that's the exact opposite. And when you do this method, you will end up with both of those. You will end up with both halves of the boundary, the great barrier between the two mirrors of the universe. Right, left, 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 right, right. And you need to practice each one of those repeatedly to get good stick control. Do one side, then you do the other side. I like to put an accent on the beginning so you can hear where it's at. But you don't have to. And then you gotta learn how to go from here to here. Right, left, left. I'd use like four times each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. See how I did that? Now you can put a little space here so you can help transition. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Just to help you get into position. But eventually you want to get rid of that space. So we talked about that. Now you understand how that fits. But it's all going to happen right here in this expanding universe of math. Okay, so we got zero. Now I'm going to show you how this works. It's progressive. There's zero. And then there's one. Keep moving over progressively. One, two, and three. Now the every combination of two strokes. So this is really one stroke. Then there's one, two. Now we're going to move that over to two and three. And we're going to move this over to three and one. Well, it's going to wrap back over to there. Now we have every combination of two strokes. Now we have every combination of three strokes. Well, there's only, there's only one. So that math works You'll see in a lot of videos the same thing for a lot of things that happen in drumming. This is divine, God-given revelation, and I thank God that he's given it to me. So what does this look like? Well, zero would be left, left, left. Right? One, right, left left in the first position in the second position left right left and in the third position would be what left left right now if we decided to do this whole thing starting with our left hand because we're left-handed or we just decided we want to start with our our weak hand you're going to get the same results as this, but it's going to be in different order. But it's all going to come out the same. So you're going to have zero lefts would mean all rights. So there's your mirror, in, your mirror universe. But it's all going to happen in here somewhere. Okay? You don't have to worry. They're all going to happen in here. You're going to see all rights right here. So it's going to happen. You know, this is a beautiful thing. So one and two position, leading with the right. That's it. So what we're really saying is, what are the positions of the right hand? One and two is right, right, left. Two and three is left, right, right. One and three would be right, left, right. See the left, right, left, the mirror universe happening inside 
And finally, right, right, right. Now, like I said, I can name these in my system. They might have names for them. They call it a triple stroke, right? They call this a backside triplet because you're favoring the backside of it. A front side triplet, another front side triplet, backside triplet. They just call these single stroke triplets, right? But it could be what I call an outside triplet because if you repeat it, left, right, left, left, right, left, then the double is on the outside. It's that one, three thing. It's on the outside. All right. So I would call this to make it either la, la, la. La 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 tells you exactly how to play, right? But I could go three la. I could say this is ra two la. I could call this la ra la. I could call this two la ra. Two ra la. La two ra. Ra, la, ra. And finally, three ra. Isn't that just amazing? I think it's just so beautiful that this works so well. Now, there's all your combinations one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of three strokes. I've not seen this in any books. This is very important how to do this. I think I need another eraser. What do you think? Do I have another eraser? I thought I did. Probably down there somewhere. All right, so let's talk about four strokes. How do you do that? Because you can do five strokes it's more complicated than six strokes, but I'll show you a way to get around that. So here's four strokes. Well, there's zero, one, two, three, and four. Now here we go, combinations of two strokes, one and two, two and three, three. See how I'm progressively moving them over, four and one, but now we have something on, uh, that we didn't have in the others, and that is staggering, one and three. Okay, so now we have one and three, that's two strokes, and now also two and four. So that's what's a little different, but once you do this enough times, you'll, you'll figure it out. Then we got three strokes, one, two, and three, two, three, and four. Three, four, and one. See how I'm wrapping it? Three, four, one. So that's the way I talk about it. And I go four, one, two. And those are our three. So here's our, our ones, our twos, and our threes. Well, what about our four? We'll put that on the very bottom here. One, two, three, and four. There you go. So now we have all of them. So zero would be, right, four left hands, because we're saying these are the position of our right hand. Now we get into this kind of thing. And now the second position is a paradiddle. The third position is a reverse paradiddle, diddle para. The fourth position, okay, first and second, right, 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 left, left. Those are double strokes. And then the diddle in the middle, right? The two rights in the middle. That's called the inside paradiddle. 
So they have names for these things. And here's the opposite para double, para para, I mean double double or diddle diddle, right? And then we got the right hand on the outside, one and four. That's the diddle in the middle. That's another inside paradiddle. Now we have just right, left, right, left. That's the first and third position. There's a double para, two paras. And then we have the opposite, mirror universe, para para. Now we get into three rights in a row. And a left, a left, and three rights. These are triple strokes. Right. See that paradiddle? Paradiddle. Paradiddle. Then we have right, right. Left, right. That's a reverse paradiddle. And then we have a quad. Right, 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 right. A quad. A quadruplet. There you go. Now you got all of these together. This is all your right hands. Now I'm going to show you how to do, how you can do without doing this table, because this table gets a little long and very complicated. When you get into fives and sixes and sevens, it gets very long. It's very, very long. It's hard to remember. I can never remember it, so I found a, really, God showed me this, I just keep asking, A-S-K, uh, just sit there and look at the whiteboard until finally it comes to you, okay? And that is, how do you do, say, a five? Well, five, one, two, three, four, five, every combination of five strokes is really a three and a two, or a two and a three. So you could think of it as one, two, one, two, three. They call this internal phrasing. So this is called two, three phrasing. One, two, three, one, two is three, two phrasing. You could even, because you have fours, you could go one, one, two, three, four. So that's called one, four phrasing. Or you can go one, two, three, four, one. And that's called 4-1 phrasing. You could even do crazy things like 1-2-1-2-1, one, two, one, two, one, which is called 2-2-1 two, two, phrasing. You know, so you can get pretty crazy with this. And so, how do we do, how do we use this phrasing? Well, this is what we're going to do. I like the 2 and 3 because um, it's simple. And it's most most common. So we'll just do we'll just do one, two, one, two, three. Just just as an example, okay? So we know we have this table zero, one, two, okay, for the twos, and one, two. So we have this table for the twos. We have a table zero, one, two two, three, one, two, two, three, three, one, and one, two, three. We have these two tables. Now this is how, now you're going to get duplicates in this. So this is not going to be as clean of a way as, as we did with each of these separately. But you're, you're, you will get duplicates, but you will get them all. That's my point. You will get every combination by this method I show you. So what you're going to do is I say every combination of this with every combination of this. So now, how do you do this? I would go left to right, not right to left, okay? You can, and I would stick with one thing at a time. So I'm going to go zero and zero, zero and one, zero. I'm going to go like this all the way down the line, zero plus blump. Then 
I'm going to go back through and I'm going to say one. And I'm going to go all the way down that line. You see how I'm doing this? And then I'm going to go through two and all those combinations. And then the one, two and all those combinations. Okay, so what does that look like? Let's do one as an example. This is a, a progressive, systematic way, again, progressive, of combining everything here with everything here. So zero, zero well, we know what zero is, so we're, gonna, we're just going to go over here. We're going to say, what is zero? And again, I'm going to start with, I'm thinking of right-hand positions, because I'm right-handed. Zero zero you know zero for the one two is left left we know that and zero for the one two three is left 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 so that's what that combination of zero with zero with right is five left five locked so now we said stick with zero because um, in drumming a lot of times you repeat something in the first half of something and you change the back half of it. So we're staying with this and changing the back half. Staying with this. This also, by going this method, this gets stuck in your head. It's the first thing you do. You don't, you don't think about it after a while. You just do it. It just becomes so ingrained because you're doing this zero with everything. It, the zero part gets stuck. And all you have to really think about becomes autopilot. All you have to think about is what to do on the on this back side. So this becomes stuck in your head. It just happens. And so I would like maybe do all this on one sound, you know, and all this on another sound. Right? Uh, so like here's the one sound, one, two, and all this on another sound, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one. You even notice I'm saying one, two, one, two, three. I'm not going one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Okay? So that might help you keep it straight in your head. Now we're going to go zero plus one. Well, we know, no, it's not going to equal exactly right here, right? Because... Uh, well, I could have spread this out a little bit better so you could see that this, this goes right here. Zero, well, we know that zero, left, left. I'll clean this up for the description in the video. So zero is left, left, but what's one? One is that, right? The position of the right hand, right, left, left. So now we have one, two, right? One, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, three. Again, I would put the accent on the beginning of the phrase so you can hear it. One, two, see? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two. Okay, so you're building stick control very systematically. Now, what is zero plus two? Well, we know zero. See, zero doesn't change. That's why you're really getting this stuck in your head. And two is the right hand in the second position, right? The second position. So now we have one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, three. 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 Two, one, two, three. So you got to really, instead of saying one, two, one, two, three, you might want to say this sticking pattern. Left. I yelled out the left. Left, left. Left, right, left. I'm sorry. Left, right, left. That's the accent. Left, right, left. 
left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, left. Okay, so that's a little trickier, isn't it? To say left, 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 right, left. So you're saying this louder. Third position, left, 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 right. Well, we know how to do this from that chart. We got, we got that in the chart. So if you print these charts out, right? If you print out all this chart and all this chart and set them right next to each other on, on the music stand, you could literally, instead of doing this math, you would have all these written out and all these written out, and you can literally just see, oh, left, left against left, 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 left against right, left, 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 left against. You could see this visually on your, on your music stand, and you could kind of visually just do that connection we just did with the math. But you could do the math all over again. So there's different ways to do this. Of course, you can write a little computer program or you can you know, manually do this and it will generate this. It'll print it out all for you. It'll do all these combinations. Math, I love computer programming. It'll do all this for you. Boop, 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 boop. Print it all out for you. So this is a very systematic way of combining this with this and eventually, when you go through this, you're going to get to 0 and 1, 2, 3, which is right, right, right. But we only did the 0. Now we have to go back through the whole thing with the 1. So 1 would be right, left, right, right in the first position. And 0, 0, 0, it's that. So you end up with all these combinations with right, left. And then 0, 2 would be left, right. And you get all those combinations. And then finally, right, right. And all these combinations. So you might, you might get some, like I said, I, I think you will get some duplication. But you'll get them all and you can play through them all. Now, what I recommend is after you do this, you know, two separate sounds, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. That's left, left, zero, and right, right, right. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two, three. So that's what you can do. Now, I think what's really cool is going to two sounds. If you go to two sounds strictly and ignoring this um, phrasing, this grouping of notes, you'll get some other interesting relationships. So let's say like this left, left, right, left, left. Left, left, right, left, left. See, I, I, I heard this and I heard this. Da, da, one, two, three. But this one, two, three is on is not in one group. It's not one, two, three. It's not ba, ba, one, two, three. Ba, ba, one, two, three. Ba, ba, one. That's the group separation. And this is right hand versus left hand separation. One two one two three 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 Okay so that is how we often play time patterns how we often time play beats right drum beats we keep our right hand on one side sound and our left hand on another side so that is another way to play these strokes remember of the mirror universe. Let's say we learned that left, left, right, left. Well, somewhere in here, left, left, right, left, left. Somewhere in this group, 
is the opposite. So in drumming, you want to practice one side over and over and over and over. So I'm still doing that. And I did I took the space out of the end. At first, like what we've said, you could put a space in there to help you get your left hand back up. Remember, because we're accenting this, so when you're done, you got to get your hand back up. We're accenting that and this to, he to help you hear the groups, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You can just accent the beginning of this, and now you have a one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See, I kept it all down. Now I'm in a one, I'm in a five phrasing. Five notes phrasing. This is two, three. So you practice the heck out of this. Thank you, Jesus. And then we practice the heck out of that. One, two, right? One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, two. One, two, one, two. Putting in pause in there. One, two, one, two, three. 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 One, two, one. Right? If you have a hard time hearing these groups, again, go on to two sounds. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Separate sound, sound. Now, once you go, repeat, 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 got that nailed, repeat, 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 nail that, then you want to be able to do what's called alternating. You're going to go from here to here, and when you're done, you're going to go back to there. Now, that's a lot trickier, believe me, a lot trickier. So, you, you might have to have this in front of you to see it and you're going to go slow you're going to see i'm going to go i'm going to look at it while i'm playing one two one two three now i have to look ahead and say what do i got to do i got to get my right hand one two one two one two one two three 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 one, two, one, two, three. Now that wasn't so bad. Now, I got to tell you, there's a, when you do alternating, let me tell you, if these are your accents, you're going to have to go up here to come down here. Right? There are no other right hands. So as soon as you're done here, you got to go back up to get ready to come down. So that's, that's where your upstrokes are. Does that make sense? So you go one, so you start up because you're going to have to come down. So you're going to start up here. You go one, two, one. See how that comes right back up? Because it says, got to go right back up. Two, three. So really you start both hands up, right? Right hand has to be up, left hand has to. One, two, one, two, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. So you got to know where your upstrokes are. Same thing as here if you repeat this. It's going to be the same thing. But if you alternate, now we got a whole different thing. If you go from here to here, What do we do? Well, we don't have to go up there because, yes, we do have to go up here because this one, the next time the left hand plays, is loud. So we still have to go up here to come down here. So we still have that. How about the right hand? In order to come down here, we have to go up. We have to go up 
to come down here. So this has to go down here like this. Well, working backwards, this right hand has to go up. Hey, so it turns out it's the same places. What about this left hand? Yes. In order to go down here, working backwards, you have to go up here. What about this right hand? In order to come down here, working backwards, you have to go up here. So usually, the way it always works is, if you figure out your upstrokes and downstrokes here, it'll be the exact same thing on the opposite. Is that It has to be. So, it's coming down here, coming down here, goes up here, goes up there. So, I hope that helps you to figure it out. So, essentially, I don't need to do all this rigmarole. We know that the upstrokes... That's all you care about is where the downstrokes are. We know downstrokes are always at the accents. And the upstrokes. So this says, come down there. And the, the rule is stay down unless you have to go up. So stay down. Now, this right hand should have been up here. So we know both hands start up here. This one comes down. And then this one comes down, but it has to go right back up. It's called a rebound stroke. And then we play the left hand. And now the left hand goes up. Now we're ready for coming down. Tap. The left hand goes down, but we know it goes right back up. All right, so let's get back. Right, right. Left goes right. Right, and that right hand comes down. So, whatever we do here is what we do here. So, so it comes down here, comes down here, but it goes back up, but it goes back up right in, right there. So, it's it's a little tricky thing figuring out accents and upstrokes, but you'll get the hang of it. So, I do things cinch by the inch. What do I do? Oh, I see. Cinch by the inch. Then I have to raise that right hand up. Left, left. Now I'm ready for the other side. Right, right. Left goes right back up. Right, right. Now I'm ready for the other side. Left, left. Right, left, left. I go that slow until I build a memory inside my head, a really good memory. I don't make mistakes because that destroys the memory. It takes a lot of time to create the memory chemicals connecting those little neural cells together, creating the memory. It's called neural pathway. So you don't want to go off the track. That's called ADHD. So you're not going down a single track. You're going off you know video games cause the brain brain to do that at a young age instead of staying on track the video game gets you off track it destroys your mind there's so many videos about this so many um, videos about this so many reports and studies about destroying the mind at a young age with video games and it used to and tv because tv can do the same thing so it goes boom like that instead of staying on track you want to keep the chemicals going in one line, cell to cell to cell progressively. If you go off track, you got to stop. There's a whole thing about being patient with yourself. You got to get back on track, get those chemicals solid, get rid of these chemicals. It takes chemicals to erase chemicals. So you got to, you got to immediately stop and go slower. Go slower so the chemicals can get there. Build that path, build that path, build that path. You're going down that line progressively, right? Going this way. You don't want to go that way. Make a mistake, go slower, get the chemicals. Takes time to erase this. It takes time to put the chemicals back in the right direction. Okay, so be patient with yourself like I did.
Think about every single thing because that's what's creating the chemicals along the pathway. If you get impatient, you're going to destroy this process by ADHD sidetracking. Okay? So I hope this really helped you. It was quite a revelation on how to do combinations to get your sticking pattern. This is not in any book. This is revelation. And I'm so grateful for it. I pass it on to you. Um, I never got into publishing books. I have a lot of these types of things out on my website under the drum tab. So you'll see PDF files. Uh, their copyright infringement type stuff is on the bottom of all of these. So don't, don't mess with it. You can share it. Don't try to sell it, though. It'll get you in trouble. Guarantee you. Uh, the powers to be, you know, you don't want to go down that path because there is a judgment day, accountability for our actions. And whether you believe it or not doesn't change the fact. It does not change the fact. You know, there's a lot of people believing a lot of crazy things right now. And uh, it doesn't change the facts. Sooner or later, the facts are going to come out. You cannot commit fraud forever. You will, you will, every thought, every, that's a scary thing, that every thought, every word, every done, everything done in secret will be brought to the light. But ultimately on Judgment Day, and there's not a thing you can do about it. You're either going to have the blood of Christ to cleanse and blot out all your transgressions, or you won't. You either accepted the Savior, you know, or you or you haven't, or you didn't, or you chose. You know, God has presented the truth to us a zillion times a day. I uh, we all fail though. This is this is a very thing about humanity. We all fail. So the bottom line is we need somebody to pick us up. We need somebody who will forgive us. And that's all been provided. All these religions of the world are trying to work their way to God. There's no way you can climb up that ladder. Sorry. If you think you can climb up the ladder to the holiness of God, you are deluded. You are deluded. You have, you have been conned. You have been deceived. There is no doubt about it. I mean, just think for a while. The creator of the universe that you can climb up to through some kind of holiness actions, give me a break. That's that might and power thing. He's just not going to have anything to do with it. He's going to do it himself. And you either accept the gift or you reject the gift. You know, somebody can hand something out to you and you can say, no thanks, I can do it myself, no problem. I don't need you, man, I, I can do this myself. I got my might and power, I got my mind, you know, whatever, right? Tell that to all the people in all the hospitals. Oh, they thought they had it all. <laughs> yeah, right, until everything changed. And then they found out, I'm not the master of anything. I'm not the captain of, of any ship. You know, things just happen to you. There's, a, there's sin in the world, man. Sin means a failure. There's failure in the world, and it's affected everybody. So we need the solution to the problem. The problem is there. If you're in denial of the problem, you're just you're just in denial. So these are double strokes. Those are those right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. That's a combination of one, two, and zero, zero. <laughs> one, two, zero, zero. One, two, zero, zero. So even a four is a combination of two and a two. Did you know that? Or you could have done a three and a one. But I like the fours are easy to remember, so why not just do the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You don't have to go one, two, zero, zero, one, two, one, zero, zero. You could. So every rudiment, that's a rudiment of four strokes, is consistent of smaller rudiments, a one, two, and a one, two, or a one, two, three, that's a, right, that's a one, two, three. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. 
one, two, three, one. One, two, right? One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. I just did the same four stroke rudiment. Isn't that amazing? But it's a three one phrasing. So that internal phrasing has a lot to do with what's going to sound like, but you can think of it in different ways. So a perspective, you can have different perspectives, okay? And that's another thing God showed me is that, um, you know, looking at things, if you only look at things from this direction, you're, you're going to see this, but you're not going to see that. You're not going to see the backside because this is blocking it. So you have to look at things from different perspectives. Does that make sense? You got to look at it from different perspectives. If you're going to get a picture of the whole thing. Really. And so, God's showing me different perspectives all the time of rudiments. And I will pass those on to you. So God bless you. for Thank you for your time. Get this out. To, uh, other people subscribe to the channel it's really encouraging and leave comments leave comments on the channel leave comments on these videos go out to the description information and you'll get a lot more on this video and then follow the links to the website and you'll get way more on the website you know it's, it's a full and you can, you can blog, you can comment on the bottom of all those pages. That way you can teach one another. That's the whole point of the website. Is that you can share this and you get closer to understanding the way God does things by the Spirit instead of your own might and power. So definitely take advantage of that. Thanks for your time. And keep. I'll look forward to seeing you again. Okay? Bye-bye.